Welcome to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. A couple months ago, I made a video called MIDI Controller Setup and Use in Pro Tools. If you haven't watched it, click on the info card in the top corner. Now, there's a couple things I didn't cover in that video, and that is how to use Tap Tempo, No Repeat, the Arpeggiator, and the Joystick. So I'll be covering those in today's video, MIDI Controllers Part 2. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right. The first place we're going to start with is Tap Tempo. Let's go to the top where it says Setup. Go to Preferences. And we're going to go to the MIDI tab. And on the left-hand side under Basics, the second choice down is Use MIDI to Tap Tempo. Make sure that this is checked in. It's checked in, so we're going to click OK. And we're going to go to the top where the transports are. And this here is your MIDI control transport. If you can't see it, go ahead and right-click here and check it in. Now, in order for this to work, we have to turn off the conductor track. It's the little guy right here with his hands up. So we're going to turn this off, and then we're going to highlight the number next to where it says tempo. So now that we have it highlighted, we can either use the keys or the pads to go ahead and tap in the tempo. Now, we're not actually going to be using the tap tempo button. So let's go ahead and one, two, three, four. And you can see that the tempo is now changing. All right. So let's go ahead and turn on the conductor track again. And that brings it back to 120. And let's go ahead and get into the arpeggiator and the note repeat. Now, before we touch anything inside of Pro Tools to get the note repeat and the arpeggiator to work, we first have to take a look at the MIDI controller. If you see that it says BPM 120 or it has another number in there, that means that it's running on an internal clock. We have to change that to external so that it uses the BPM from Pro Tools and not its own. To do that, we're gonna go to the MIDI editor for the controller. In my case, it's the MPK mini editor. And right here where it says clock, I'm going to change it from internal to external. I'm going to go to file, send program to RAM, click OK, and that sends it to the controller. And now my controller reads BPM X for external. I'm going to close this. And now we can configure the settings in Pro Tools. So we're going to go to the top where it says setup, MIDI, MIDI B clock, and we're going to find our controller and select it, MPK Mini 3, and click OK. And now we're ready to use the arpeggiator and the note repeat. Keep in mind that playback has to be running in order for us to listen to it back. So I'm going to turn on the record enable for my synth. I'm going to turn on the arpeggiator. And I'm going to go ahead and run the playback. And let's press it. Now if you want to change the division, simply hold down the button. And let's go to a different division here. Let's go to 1 8 Let's go ahead and move on to the note repeat. So I'm going to turn off the arpeggiator, turn on full level, turn on note repeat, and I'm going to record enable my hi-hat, and I'm going to press playback, and let's listen. And just like with the arpeggiator, you can go ahead and push down the button and change the division. So let's go to 1 16th. And you can actually change the division while the playback is running. All right, so I'm going to stop this, turn off the full, turn off no repeat, and let's talk about the joystick. Now, with the joystick, it's actually pretty quick and easy. If you push it left, it's going to pitch down. If you push it right, it's going to pitch up. And if you push it forward or back, you're going to use modulation. So let's go ahead and use it with the synth. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. Now, if you push it diagonally, you're going to get a combination of both modulation and pitch. And there you have it. That is how you use tap tempo, no repeat, the arpeggiator, and the joystick. Thank you for watching. If there's anything else that I missed on the MIDI controller, please comment it below and I'll make a part three if I have to. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you at the next session.